Your spot with Jarius. <laughs> it's not likely, but that's the appeal. Yep. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. I mean, if you believe the reports, how about the fact your guys' reaction to the the fact that the Lions might be involved in a deal of of this player's caliber? Because uh, we we're kind of led to believe don't expect a big splash. This would be a big splash without question. This would be about the biggest splash you could make at a position that the Lions need. I I mean, I'm gonna I feel pretty safe in the assumption this isn't happening, but. We're going to talk about if it's being reported. If they called, then that they've already done more than I expected them to do. 248 539 This could be another case, though, of when it's all said and done, we say the following. They only had to give up that? We've, we've been in positions where we've said that before. So you may as well ask. May as well see if you can get them for your price. And if you can't, hey, tried. Oh, no big yeah. deal. Took a look. Uh, let's go to Paul in Madison Heights here on 97 with a ticket. Hi, Paul. Hi, good afternoon. What's I up? I got uh, just a concern. My concern is, I un- from what I understand, is is that uh, they franchised him in a way that he can look for a deal. But in return, doesn't the Lions have to give the Chiefs two first-round draft picks? Because if that's the case, that's an awful big lift for a guy who's not a quarterback. I I I don't think that's the case. I haven't seen that reported. I've seen. I mean, that the I was second just reading that thing. yesterday on the CBS Sports app. Sorry, it's okay. Competition, but um, not worried about that's it. That's what I was just reading, and and I and when I heard this, I was like, well, it's good to hear that he's doing this, but I hope it doesn't go through because the way Holmes drafts two first round picks is. That's that's a lot of equity. To okay, give up for a um, the guy's not a quarterback. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through and and double and triple check this. Uh because here's the other thing: what they what the the organization that Brad Holmes grew up in gave up first round picks all the time. Yeah, all but he time. wasn't making that call. No, he wasn't making that call. But that's. He was. He and also. He also actually. The draft. He also wasn't. I'm, thinking, I'm not even thinking what what he would pick at that first round pick, but what he would do with it. Yeah. He. Uh, you know? He also wasn't the man making the picks in L.A. He wasn't the GM, but he learned how to build a draft board. He did a great job with that. He's obviously drafted very well. If he follows nope. the Rams model, he will not be afraid to move on from first round picks. Well, I would rather he sign a free agent than to trade for a guy that's going to get top dollar. What, he's, I ha, I, what, what am I missing here? Because the two first round picks thing is something I remember in the past, but all I've heard is that he could this trade could be done for a second round pick. Yeah, I haven't heard. I don't know what CBS report that the caller is reading. All I know is basically everyone thinks it's just going to take a second round pick at most, and it, and that's the compensation. So there's nothing guaranteed. I don't know what the first two rounders. And I don't think the Lions would even entertain the thought of giving up two first rounders. For, for Snead, he's not even the best corner on his team. So the the interesting thing here is I'm reading, a, there's a story here about Legereus Snead. Um, the Chiefs told him to seek a trade, and I expect his agents to find someone who will, who will give him somewhere in the range of $40 million guaranteed on the low end. He was outstanding this year. The only impediment is the Chiefs seeing the salary cap bump and thinking they can run it back this year. Um, yeah, there's nothing here about two first-round picks. Maybe somebody can cite us directly where he saw that. Well, is that because the somebody's making a comparison with him and uh, who's the defensive back with the, the, the Rams traded for Jalen Ramsey? Jalen Ramsey. Is that what is that where it comes from? And he's not Jalen Ramsey. Nope. No, but he'd be CB one here. And... Sure, sure, he'd be CB one here. But again, that's where I'd go back. I'd rather if you're going to throw twenty million dollars at somebody, are there better options? Are you better? suited to spend less and, and go sign Kendall Fuller or Stefan Gilmore at, you know, much less than 20 million a year. And then you don't have to give up a draft pick because they're free agents. Yeah. This is uh there's a lot of, of moving parts in this thing. Cause we're talking about money. We're talking about draft picks. We're talking about Kansas city having to agree. We're talking about other bidders. Um, there's a lot here to think about. The non-exclusive franchise tag, according to NFL.com, 
the tag player, he can negotiate with other teams, but his current team has the right to match any offer or receive two first-round picks as compensation. Well, which tag was put on him? I don't believe it's the non-exclusive because they straight up told him you can go negotiate, but they, there's never been, as far as I've read, that you have to give up two first-rounders if you make a deal. And you haven't seen it either, Doug. I don't mm. think you have it either, Gator. Mm-mm. Nope. It's like This is almost like one of those, you know... Can Agreement they, between the two, you know, the two sides. I mean, the question is, can the Chiefs agree to less? And if they can agree to less, it sounds like they're willing to. But Lions fans, this is a move you make. 248-539-9797. Non-exclusive franchise. You said non-exclusive is where they're they get the two first round picks? Yes. Not the exclusive. The exclusive says um it's a one year, but it's, you, you have the sole right to negotiate with the player in the exclusive okay. franchise, which he has, he's been negotiating or he's able to. All right. Well, I mean, if it's two first rounders, does everybody agree that we're it's out? A, that's a no dog. Yeah. Yep. That's a pretty safe assumption on that. 248 539 97 If you want to get in on this, again, the Lions USA Today report came out at this hour. Vikings, Colts, Titans, Patriots, Lions, Falcons, and Jags have expressed interest in the Chiefs' corner, according to a person with direct knowledge of the situation. Talking to USA Today Sports, but only spoke on the condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of the situation. 